Welcome to Simple Do-It-Yourself Solar, simpleDIY.com. Today we're going to look at tabbing solar cells. There's a number of videos out on YouTube, etc. that show you how to do this, but I always found them lacking. When I first started on this, I could never get the thing soldered correctly. Well, I'm going to show you a few pointers. It'll go perfect every time almost. So, uh, come on, let's look at my messy workbench and we'll get started. First, obviously, you need a soldering gun. Now, the proper wattage is key. Uh, a lot of people use a wattage that is way too low. Uh, I have a Radio Shack. It's a 64-2071C. It's a 40-watt uh, soldering gun. That is the minimum you will need. Uh, some people use 60s. I don't know. Just for some reason, I found that the 40-watt seems to work better. Uh, again, that's a Radio Shack 64-2071C. It's a 40-watt. Now, the other key is... Uh, these usually come with pointed tips, but you're going to need a flat tip uh, because you're going to push that flat tip down against the solar cell, okay? And a pointed tip won't work, so you're going to need something that actually goes right along the solar cell. You hold it flat, okay? So even if you get one with a rounded tip, not all Radio Shacks carry extra tips for these. So there's one way to address this. You can actually take a file, okay? and you just file this tip off, okay? So let's take a quick look at that and do that. So if you keep filing, and if you look closely, see how it's flat? But you can even, you can round it a little bit this way. Because again, that's gonna be pushing against, that's gonna be pushing against the, the part of the solar cell, but you want something flat and a little bit wide, just about how I've filed it here. And also a clean tip, the solder, melts a lot better and distributes a lot better around that. So, again, you can do this periodically as you're soldering. You can even file the soldering gun while it's hot, but I'd be careful with that putting in the vise. But, because as you solder, part a little bits of the tip are actually going to get eaten up and uh, distributed with the solder. So you want to, just periodically, every, you know, five or six cells probably, so you want to take that file and smooth this and flatten it out again. Eventually you'll wear out the tip, but the tips are like $2 a piece at Radio Shacks. A couple of things you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need the tabbing wire. Again, buy this on the internet. There's a number of places that sell it. You're going to need a flux pin, a rosin flux pin. Make sure it's a rosin flux pin. That usually you can buy, usually buy the tabbing wire, the bus wire, and the flux pin as a kit. Usually, it's ten to fifteen dollars somewhere in there. Then your solar cells and uh, some type of a rosin fine electronic solder, and any kind will really work, but it needs to be a fine rosin solder. Then I choose to work off of a small piece of pine. Uh, it's not too hard, but it's not soft. If you put these solar cells on some type of a soft surface, you push on them, it'll break. Because you're going you're to push, not, not real hard, but you're going to push on this to be able to solder well. So I chose a piece of board. Uh, seems to work the best. Okay, let's get started. First, you need to cut your tabbing wire to fit, obviously. You're going to cut your tabbing wire twice as long because the tabbing wire is going to go along the top of one cell. It's going to go from here, top of one cell, and then it's going to go underneath and be soldered to the next cell. So you need a piece of tabbing wire that is twice the size of one cell. So this one I'm going to cut to about, and this stuff's so thin you can use scissors to cut it. So then you're going to need two of those. So measure another one about the same length, cut it, okay, okay let's start to solder. First thing you need to do, make sure there's no dirt or anything on the board, if there's any little pieces of solder from your last job on there, it'll break the cell. You need a nice flat surface, so put the cell down, nice flat surface. Next you're going to take your rosin pin, okay, your rosin flux pin, and you're going to Make sure it flows. You get a little spot right there you can see. And just go right along where you're going to solder. Okay? Right along. Like that. Make sure you cover it all. Put that away. Now, one trick I found is you, you start out by taking a little bit of solder, okay? Take the solder. Just touch it to the tip of your soldering gun, okay? That way you know your soldering gun's hot enough. A little bit of melt. Now, just touch a small tab right on the end. See that right on the end where the solar cells are, the, the tabs you're going to solder to. 
you take your first piece of cut tabbing wire okay now lay it down right along that strip okay make sure the end now don't go over the end okay don't go over the end down here but see that now that flat part that we saw that we filed off make sure that's flat with the solar cell then just touch it right like that and that little dab of solder will hold it on there see so now you can work with it now take your fingers like this hold it down now is what you do is make sure that flat part is flat against that tabbing now as you're pulling it along keep it lined up with your finger don't get too close you'll get burned don't move too fast right like that and that's really all there is to it see it's tabbed it's definitely on there now let's do the other one again important thing is put a little dab of solder so it's a place to anchor it okay right like that then line it up beforehand with your fingers right about like this okay don't put the soldering gun right on the solder because then you're going to undo that and the thing will slip so start about a quarter inch down make sure it's flat not real hard but it kind of takes a fine touch as you're dragging the soldering gun along you can feel it you can feel it when it's flat you just drag it along make sure that's lined up drag 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 not too fast right like that go back and get that little piece that you didn't do to start and that's really it put your soldering gun up and you've got a fully tabbed cell all hooked on there nice and smooth everything else now you're gonna you're gonna solder onto the back of the next one put it down because it goes on top on top of one then to the bottom because the back is positive the front is negative and it's just like hooking batteries together so again, you're going to take your, your flux pin, touch each one of these. Now on these you have to use solder because they, there's, put a little, so what you do is you put a little dab of solder. Again, take your soldering gun, all I do is I just go, I just give it a quick shot. Now, the key is, is don't try to heat up the heat up the solar cell first or anything kind of push the solder just as you touch the see how I'm, I'm not touching and heating the cell first or the solder I'm not melting it on the tip you might just do a little bit on the tip but then put them both down there together see and just give it a shot like that just give it a shot okay now since you've got that done go like that then you line the wires up and all you have to do is just come along now the key here is you hold this you hold the loose end so you can kind of round it down push it down like that just push touch it touch it touch it and touch it that's all you need to do and there's two tab cells put together and you're ready to roll Again, simple, DIYsolar.com. Uh. Hi, this is Brian with simple, DIYsolar.com. Let's look at some of the failed projects I pulled off of YouTube and other places on the web. First of all, this panel from a uh, website said to build this with glass and a certain material to mount the uh, solar cells underneath. Well, when it got cold, it cracked and uh, basically ruined the cells. This method, a different material to uh, mount the cells with. Again, then when this one got hot, it cracked. I put this one in the oven, uh, and it ended up cracking, damaging the cells underneath. This method here, uh, it's a decent method, but it gets moisture behind it, and I can show you how to get rid of the moisture. If you've built a panel similar to this where there's a, a space in, in the back, I can show you ways to get rid of moisture so it doesn't cloud up the front of that. Mm. Again, simple DIYsolar.com. Learn from my mistakes.